All right, please welcome Gavin. This is his last presentation here at Freestyle. Uh, I didn't expect to be up this early, but okay. So this is my inspiration. I'm Gavin. My project, rotoscoping. So what is rotoscoping? Rotoscoping is basically when you uh, draw over a pre-existing plate to make it kind of animated. Um, it's usually used in animation, but it's also used in film, especially with the lightsaber, where there were just kind of those rods right there. And you take those rods, and they were um, edited with glowing effects. So my inspirations were uh, mostly Dragon Ball Z, especially with this guy, Broly. He's the mindless berserker. And uh, this YouTuber, uh, Capella, he makes very absurd animations, but um, I really took a lot from him. So, I worked a little bit on voice acting. This is basically my set. Step one, I turn on my recorder, and then I just yell into the recorder. Uh, I didn't really talk all that much, but I, can, I still consider it voice acting. So, here's some uh, wacky characters. There's Grimble. Don't get too attached to him, you'll see why. And, um, and uh, this happy guy, which is, you know, he, he's happy, you know? He, he's known for being a happy guy. So, uh, this is the first take. This is what I uh, basically did. This is what I rotoscoped. This is me beating up my camera now. I was spending like basically from getting out of school at like five, getting home to one in the morning doing this. So uh, yeah, that's my. Um, that was really fun, and um, I was wondering what's like the process for like when you're in it? Do you just like take pictures and send them? So uh, I guess I should explain a little bit. But I was going to Photoshop. I would set the video to twelve frames. I zoom in. It's a little choppy at the end. I don't know how to do it, but um, the video is a little choppy because it's showing in 12 frames, 12 frames, and that just makes it easier for me to uh, trace it. And so I have to draw less frames. If I if I did this in 30 frames, I wouldn't even be here. Like <laughs> this would have taken me like like actually weeks, and I just don't have that time. Just like coloring it alone. basically change everything on the fly, so I don't really have a solid progression line, but um, yeah, like even the colors, the colors, I, I didn't have any idea what colors to use, or uh, what character would look like, so I just kind of made it up, and uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up what my process was, I made it up. So you in, took the- In which software? Uh, Photoshop. So you took the Photoshop, put this video in Photoshop, and then you just basically drew on top of the video. Yes, yes. Okay. Frame by frame, 12 frames. Frame by time. frame, 12 frames.
characters are new. That is just me traced over. I took a picture of me and I traced it over <laughs> uh, to make the happy guy. And Grimble, like, I don't even know what I did. I, I just drew something just roughly based on, like, a random ass character. So there's two definitions of rotoscoping. The one is what you're doing, yes. and you don't have to rotoscope, or you don't have to draw over everything. You could have just drawn over the character and left the background, right? Yeah, but, but uh, there's also rotoscoping in a different different sense, which you will all learn in, in my class next year. Um, so there's there's sometimes some confusion about what rotoscoping is, and this is just one type yeah, of rotoscoping. Uh, I didn't want to go into Premiere or uh, any of those other Adobe softwares to edit the, the the sound. I, as I said, just screamed into the into the recorder and then changed the volume. Does that sound like they have frames and there's no sound? Or yes, yes. Uh, so I went into the assets folder and I grabbed uh, an audio of a gun shooting, and um, yeah, I, I put it in every single plus. Just to give it a little bit more impact, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. <laughs>